All right. Now, another video on my horror DVD collection. It's time to go over my horror Blu-ray collection. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll start with, we get 10, son of a bitch, disc is out. <clears throat> DVD disc, so it's cool. 10 Cloverfield Lane, I know it's not really horror, but, and if I ever get the Cloverfield Paradox, I'll put it in here too, because all three of the franchise go together, have Cloverfield in here somewhere. Here's 10 Cloverfield Lane, that starts her up. Next, we have 47 meters down. Decent film. Didn't really care for the ending, but it's all right all around. Otherwise, I mean not all around. Other way, you have Alien 40th Anniversary 4K. Um, I know, like I said, I don't have a 4K player. But look at that slip cover, though. Had to grab it. As soon as I saw that slip cover in Durant Cinema's review, I knew I had to get it. Or not review, but video. You know what I mean? In Durant Cinema's video. I knew I had to get it. He also got me into still books. I already said that before, but yeah. Alien. 40th anniversary 4K. Baby. Then we got the Alien Collection. Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, The Resurrection, Prometheus, and Alien Covenant. Right there. Blu-ray set. Back. If you see me move like that, I'm trying to keep it so it doesn't fall. We got A Quiet Place. Which I feel like I need to review before the sequel comes out. Is it coming out next year? Some point. Yeah. Quiet place. Very good. Very quiet. Duh. Alright. Next we have another 4K. Now the backstory with this. I've I watched American Psycho one night when I was watching the dog at my mom's house. I've wanted to get the Blu-ray ever since. So I had the Blu-ray off of eBay. Very cheap, and I found out why. Apparently, the original Blu-ray had a defect, where after a while, it would just stop working. All it would do is you put it in, it goes to the menu, you get the music, no selections, nothing, you can't do anything. So I bought the blue, so I bought that, and it didn't work, and then I got the DVD. But I still wanted the Blu-ray. Well, I learned they're coming out with a 4K of American Psycho. Like that. 4K. So I have some 4Ks. If either, uh, you know, movies that I couldn't find on Blu-ray anywhere else, and I figured it comes with the Blu-ray. So if it comes with the Blu-ray, I'll grab it. Like, if, if there's collections, I won't. But I, just, I thought about getting the Michael Keaton Batman 4K. But I don't know. But here's... <clears throat> Very good movie. I should review it. I should. And the DVD, I can pop it in. No, kind of limited. Well, I could put it in the next post, I guess. We have Annabelle. Thought it was okay. Not best, of course. Um, thinking about saving the Conjuring movies till next year, next Halloween time. Be part of that 31 on 31. Maybe. By then, we'll probably have The Conjuring 3 out in cinemas and stuff <clears throat> which man I might have to do the reviews before that comes out now that I think about it but yeah that's a bell to go with that Annabelle Creation Blu-ray yeah DVD in there too, I think. Let's see. He? Yeah, about creation. 
And you already seen this in my Blu-ray haul videos. But Annabelle comes home. <clears throat> yeah. There's that. I thought it was decent, but I don't see why it was rated R. Horror, violence, and terror. You could bring like a ten year old to this and they wouldn't be scared. I don't I don't see why it was rated R. Not at all. I even asked a friend of mine. He said he bought the DVD, which I like the DVD cover better than this, but he's like, I'm like, you watched it, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, do you see any reasons why it should be rated R? No. We're not. <clears throat> we have Anaconda with Jennifer Lopez and Sean Voigt. Nice cube. I watched, I've seen this once. We watched this at school back when I was younger. Middle school or high school, one of the two. And I just barely remember it. But I bought the Blu-ray because I thought it looked cool. It's got Blu-ray and DVD in here. But it's just like, yeah. One of these days I'll have to watch it and give a review out for it. Probably not this month. Because I have a couple other things I want to do, but I'm trying to focus on the important stuff I have to do. So, <clears throat> Yeah. It's gonna grab. I don't even know what's next. So, we have oh Annihilation. I have a poster in my living room. <clears throat> Annihilation, very good movie from Alex Garland. Very good female-led movie, without it being throwing a bunch of girl power in your face, like say Captain Marvel, or that scene in Avengers Endgame, or what Birds of Prey looks like it's trying to do. I'm just saying. Very good without having to say, we're women and we have a, you know, nah, 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 we need the rights. And, you know, of course women need their rights, but you don't need to throw them in our faces. I'm just saying. Very good movie. All right. What else we got? I'm kind of just, <clears throat> it's a surprise. What's next? Ooh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead Season 1. I know I didn't include my TV shows in my DVDs, except for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. So I'm eventually going to get on Blu-ray, but for now, this is season one. No, it's better. It's Lenticular, which I love, Lenticulars. So, season one. And then we have <coughs> season three, which is not Lenticular, it's just a regular slip. Eventually, I do want to get <coughs> season two on Blu-ray. <laughs> The whole season. You, you, you know, you could buy the entire series. Yeah, but I'm not going to rebuy the entire series when I only need one season on Blu ray. You know what I mean? So, season three right there. Pablo! My favorite character is in this. So of course, Ash is my favorite, but Pablo is pretty cool too. We got next is Alien vs. Predator. This should have been next to the Alien franchise. Really should have. Alien vs. Predator for Predator double feature. <clears throat> Movies. I actually prefer AVPR over the first one. It's rated R. It's dark as hell, but I still prefer it. One of these days I'm gonna have to do Alien Predator Users. Arnold Mania. Predators and Arnold Mania though. I don't know. I haven't seen Predator 2 or Predators, but I don't know. Even if I don't do the review series altogether, I can still rank them <clears throat> together. Oh, tra la 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 la. Banana Splits movie. I already reviewed this, so you know my thoughts on it. My childhood was murdered. <sighs> Blade. It's kind of like movies. They're horror movies, man. The vampires, the killings, they're horror movies. I'm sorry. This one's more of a horror comedy because it's Bright Reynolds, but they're horror movies. Okay, I count them as horror movies. All three in here Blade, Blade 2, Blade Trinity. Alright, there we go. 
Blair Witch. It's the only one I have on Blu-ray. I was like, wait a minute, but the other two, they're over there. Blair Witch. I showed you the first two of my DVD. One is the blue, the the, the uh, third one, so to speak. It doesn't count the second one, but yeah, I thought this was pretty good. I, shoot me in the head or nothing, but I think this is better than the original. I'm sorry. Stuff happens in this one. Where the originals are just running around and yelling about a map and if they have any cigarettes left and you no, know, I kicked that map into the river. Ha 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 ha. Stuff actually happens here. Alright? <clears throat> ah. Brightburn. Have not watched this yet. See, Walmart was rearranging their, their electronics area, right? So I went in one day, I'm on, I'm on payday, and I was expect, expecting to get Brightburn and The Curse of La Llorona, which is coming down here. Didn't have either of them. So I had to order them off of eBay. About a month later, I'm in Walmart, and I see they have both, Walmart, both Brightburn and The Curse of La Llorona sitting there. I understand maybe they were waiting to put out those new releases. So at that point, they didn't put out any new releases since Avengers Endgame. So that maybe they were waiting, but I had to order this. I probably got it cheaper, too, because it was like maybe, what, 13 bucks for this off eBay? So, <clears throat> I mean, it's not new. It's like new, they said. I haven't watched it yet. One of these days, I will watch it. Brightburn. I've heard things. Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> I can't say the name, but you see it, right? But don't think it, don't say it. The Bye Bye Man. I said it! No. I think I'm the only one in the world that thought this movie was decent. Yes, it doesn't give a lot of backstory. Maybe they were waiting for a sequel because the way they set up at the end. I should review this because I think this is a decent movie. I do. It's decent, at least. So we'll... Maybe, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. There's two. Pardon me, folks. Stack this on top of this. That way, I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> we got Cavalry. Have not seen this one. Seen the remake. Haven't seen this one yet. I bought the Blu-ray or the DVD, I should say, from the pawn shop, and then they had this at Walmart in a five dollar bin. Had to grab it. Five dollars? Hell yeah. Carrie, see the basic. You know, I gotta watch this. Stephen King, right? Yeah. Uh. Carrie, we got the uh, child's play. Son of a bitch, really? This is getting nuts. It really is. Picking this shit up. Don't you dare. I asked under bumped them. So let's try this again. <clears throat> the original Child's Play. Classic film. One of only three Chucky movies I have on Blu-ray. 
So that tells you something, right? Child's Play Remake. I'll show you this in one of my hauls. Of course, that one is set up for the chick here. So I'll give it. There it is. Child's Play Remake. Ah, Cloverfield. There we go, baby. Very good found footage. Think about doing a... It's a string of found footage movies. <clears throat> One of these times, just do a whole bunch of found footage movies. I had a bunch of them to do. So, I should. Just line it up. I don't mean to rank anything. Just found footage movies. <clears throat> yeah. Clown. Okay. What about John Watts? Wait, is that the guy who did the... Spider-Man Homecoming? The, the bunch of you Spider-Man movies? I looked that up. I'm already taking too much time anyway, but... I swear to God, it's John Watts. But yeah, this is a, a, a fucked up movie. I'll tell you right now. Eli Roth produced it, right? Yep. So you know it's fucked up. <clears throat> the Conjuring. I have the Annabelle ones. I have these two. This one came with a lenticular. I can't find the code. I think I threw it away. But yeah. I remember I got this from in the video and I put my <clears throat> Conjuring DVD in here. So. Conjuring 2. Surprised? I'm not. <laughs> Conjuring 2. Uh, I need to scoot this up. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. No, son of a bitch. And you fell too. Cut. <clears throat> trying to scoot it up. Can't scoot it up. Falls down. You know, the DVDs, they sit up better than the Blu rays. I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Make sure this is working alright. I already hit 17 minutes and I'm not even halfway done. Speed it up. The Crow! Can't say anything bad about this movie. Very good. Curse of Chucky. I'm gonna talk movies not together. Names. Curse of Chucky. The Curse of La Llorona. I haven't watched this yet. Will be one of the Conjuring movies. It is part of the Conjuring series, but I didn't market it as that, but. Yep. Disturbia. Already reviewed this one. It's like a, it's a thriller, but I consider it horror. So, and don't even. Don't. Yeah. <clears throat> don't breathe. Kind of want to review this. For this month, but I don't know if I have time. It's getting towards the end of the month already. Sad. But yeah, don't breathe. Might just do it next month for shits and giggles. <clears throat> Escape Room. Very good. Can't wait for the sequel. Yes, yeah, so they're doing a sequel. Evil Dead 2. Pair that up with Evil Dead Remake. Review both of these. If you've seen these. No. Wrong way. Wrong way. <clears throat> Final destination. One through four. You saw a five in a DVD. One, two, three, four. I enjoy the movies. Found footage 3D. One of the movies I will be reviewing in the found footage films. Wait. Wasn't there... Don't go in the woods or something? Stay out of the woods. I don't know. But yeah. This is one of the good ones. It, it's... I thought... I think it's decent. I mean... Not that happens till like the very end. But when it, stuff happens, it happens. So... Yeah. The one that I will review when... We got Friday the 13th Killer Cut. Actually... This one should be first. Friday the 13th Collection. And the Killer Cut. You already saw these. So you don't really need to 
You won't need further with those. You got your silos. Alright. We got Freddy versus Jason. Which probably should have been their first hit. Yeah, Freddy versus Jason should have been before these because it's alphabetically. Another movie for which I have a post on my wall in the other room, and that's Friend Request. I thought it was okay. <clears throat> I don't think it's too bad, but I just didn't like... like there's this character here at Kobe. I thought it was pretty cool, and they did something with his character towards the end, and I was like, man, whatever. But yeah, I thought it was okay. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Halloween Collection. I almost forgot that. <clears throat> Has all those I just reviewed. So there's that Halloween collection. Take the both out here and show you. One through five, six, H2O Resurrection, and two Rob Zombie shit fests. Hey, man. Amen. <laughs> Halloween, six producer cut. That's VHS cover. It is producer cut. Just happy when I found it, and I like this one better than the original, which is the only one I'll watch. So, yeah. Halloween 2018. Let's another one. These two I'll do it together since they're sequels. Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day to you. I'll be able to be reviewing these in February for my birthday. Because I think it fits. Birthday, Death Day. It's about a birthday. So, yeah. Be doing those in February. <clears throat> Hellfest. Haven't actually watched this all the way through. I put it in. And I couldn't pay attention to it. Eventually I will watch it. Eventually I'll get a review out. But until then, Next, the city is chapter three. And see, it's the last key. I don't have the first two on Blu ray or DVD for that matter. Eventually, I will. It's been on the list. Maybe the Insidious movie should be part of next year's um, 31 on 31. The Insidious and The Conjuring, both started by James Wan. Supposedly, there's a fifth one, but I don't know. But those are some more coming up. <clears throat> okay, we got the Intruder with Dennis Quaid. Very good. Jeepers creep. H I. It chapter two. Or it, 2017, whatever. It, 2017, I'm trying to get done. Now we got the J's here. Jeepers Creepers, 1 and 2, Jeepers Creepers 3. And I may review these once upon a time from now, but yeah. Jennifer's Body. Very good movie. I had a thing for Megan Fox back in the day. Now, not so much. You know, she's married and all that, but back in the day. Hold on. Since Transformers. Even now, watching Transformers, I'm just like. But I used to have a big thing for her. Jigsaw. I don't know if I have the stuff.
some to watch all the Saw movies for a 31 out of 31, but eventually I'll get the Saw movies out. Joy Ride, I already reviewed this one, so there's that one. King of Horror Collection, Stephen King, you got the original It, Cat's Eye, Shining, Salem's Lot. I'm going to try to do a review for The Shining in November at least, to get ready for Dr. Sleep, because I'm interested in that. Is I've only seen The Shining like last year. I loved it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewatch it, review it, and then I'm going to watch Dr. Sleep and review that, so... Lights Out, supposedly they're making a sequel to this, but I haven't heard anything yet, but I'm interested, because this is pretty good. Kid who plays Andy and the new child's plays in this. I didn't think he was very good in this, but he was very, he was very good in the child's play, so, yeah, who knows. Lost Boys, already reviewed those, so, there's that. Mama. Excuse me, <clears throat> Mama. He was a total presents, but he isn't directed. I thought it was Andy Muschietti. Yeah, Andy, Andy Muschietti, yeah. I I should review this one these times. This is a pretty good movie. I'm going to see this in the theater. It freaked me the hell out. But yeah. The Meg. Jason Statham. Sorry, it's about depression. No, it's not. About a big shock. Or oh, fight a big shock, I should say. That's right. That's right. That was okay. I'll do a review sometime. Next year, Shark Shark Week. I'm sure it was a shark review. Because Shark Week happened before I started reviewing. Midnight Movie. Um, I think I watched this once. Don't remember any of it. I got this from a pawn shop. I'm looking for horror. So this, like, you know what? Why not? It's one of those cheap horror movies, but I'll rewatch it one of these times and just get a review out for it, I guess. Chicago Horror Film Festival, huh? Didn't know that. My buddy Valentine 3D. Crap. I got. I still got to put out my list of my top ten favorite uh, horror movie remakes. That's gonna be one of the things I do before Halloween, so. Look for that, too. My Soul to Take. Very good movie by Wes Craven. Doesn't get the love it deserves. It's very good. We should do a review on that. There's a lot I want to do. Some of the, most of these will probably be after <clears throat> October, but... Night of the Living Deed. Pretty good. Pretty good. Here it is. Night in the Woods. What a crap fest. It'll be one of the ones I review. Because I need to rewatch it again. It's just... It, it frustrated me. I bought this thing. And okay, I like these, you know, found footage movies where people go out in the woods. The Blair Witch Project. And the one I showed earlier. Found footage 3D. They're all about going into the woods. So I thought it'd be cool. And uh, I was just frustrated with it. Night of the Demons, which I was going to review for this month, but I, not, I, don't, I don't know if I have time, but I'll review it eventually. Night of the Demons remake. Probably going to be on my list. Uh, I'm not going off the originals, because well, I've seen some of the original ones of them. I think I like these better. But pretty good. Nightmare on Elm Street collection, right here. Followed by The Nun, which I saw this on the same day as Slender Man, and this is the better movie. I thought I thought this was way better compared to that one. The people were still saying bad things about this. I don't know. I really enjoyed it compared to the Slender Man movie. All right, Oculus, very good movie. I should probably 
do actually this will be for the, my WWE. I do my WWE movies review series or whatever whenever I do it. Because I need to order a bunch of those too. Um, this will be one of them. Mike Flanagan, very good at doing horror movies. He should do more. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. Ouija, double feature collection. Ouija and Ouija Origin Evil. Two very... Well, the first one's okay. The second one's pretty good. Again, Mike Flanagan. Right? Yeah, Mike Flanagan did the second one. Overlord. Pretty decent film. Uh, I'm going to have to rewatch it again, but pretty decent film. This is supposed to be part of the Cloverfield collection. They could just call it Cloverlord. Cloverlord! Yeah. Cloverlord. Paranormal Activity 3, 4, 3, 4, The Marked Ones, and Ghost Dimension. I already reviewed those. Get those out of the way. Sometimes, Dead is Better. Original Pet Cemetery and the Remake. <clears throat> Which, I might have to watch this to put on my horror remake list. I don't think it'll make the list, though. <laughs> I've seen this one. Because <clears throat> if I watch it, I don't have to review it. And I don't have Pet Cemetery 2 to do a review series on all three of these. I don't know. But I gotta be fair. You know? I don't know. I don't know, Okay. Public Eyes remake won't be on the list. It's okay. Not scary at all. It's, oh, it's PG-13. That's why. The original was rated R, wasn't it? I, mean, she's, I don't know. But no, it's not scary at all. We got a three-pack here. Possession, Kevin Underwoods, and Sinister. And we got the Predator three-film collection. Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. One of two collections that I have. <clears throat> the Predator. I don't think this is as bad as everybody keeps talking, you know, keeps saying. It, I think it's all right. Say it's all right. Prom Night remake. I think it's better than the original. It's a different story. People are like, oh, it's only Prime Night name. It has nothing to do with the original. So? Just because it's... Just because it's a remake called Prom Night doesn't, ha doesn't mean it has to be the same as the original. Psycho did that. Shot for shot. People got pissed. So if they went and did a remake... Just like the original, people would have still gotten pissed. I think this is pretty good. Three movie collection, Queens of Scream. But yeah, I know what she did last summer, Vacancy, and When a Stranger Calls. When a Stranger Calls will probably be on the list of remakes. <clears throat> rings. I got the first two on DVD. So Rings. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Very good. Scream Collection, like I said before. Ignore that. It has the four Scream movies. See No Evil 2. Gotta get the first one for the WWE. This is another one. WWE one. Okay. It's Kane. It's gotta be Kane. Sleepy Hollow Season 1. Why is that even here? I don't have... Whoa. The other three seasons I have on DVD... And th but this one, though, was like the only one really that delves into the horror side. The rest of the series kind of lightens up. Especially by season four, it's lightened up a lot. But <clears throat> it's more mystery series by season four than it is horror. But this season, it definitely is horror. All right, the last few are here. We got 
Species. Very good movie. Very good. I'm afraid if they did a remake now, it would be all CG. Strangers and the Strangers Pray at Night. I already reviewed those. I need to talk much about them. <clears throat> movie that I didn't think that I didn't think was that bad. Bumhouse's Truth or Dare. They classify this in the B's, but it's the T for me. Truth or Dare. I didn't think it was as bad. The ending kind of ruined it for me, but eventually I'll do a review on it. <clears throat> on Sane. This one is pretty damn good. Shot on an iPhone, but a decent film. About a woman basically being scammed, but also being stalked at the same time. Very, very good. Upgrade, baby. One of my favorite movies of last year. Very good movie. It's a better version of Venom, according to the Nostalgia Critic. But it is still good. Yeah. Van Helsink. Isn't it an action movie? I don't care. It's based off of Universal Horror Monsters. It's horror. Okay? The Visit. It'll be in my um, found footage review series whenever I do it. Alright? Wish Upon. If I start talking about this movie, I won't stop. So let's just... And then she'll do a review so you can hear all my thoughts. World War Z. I bought this because I was like, okay, they're going to make a sequel, so I got to watch this one first, right? Now the sequel is pretty much canceled, so... I don't know, one day I'll get to watch it, I guess. And these ones are all together. X-Files Season 1. Two. One, three. Alright? Love this show. Need to get more. Walmart was coming out with them. Every few months, they'd have a new season. And then after season three, they just stopped putting them out on Blu-ray. So I have to order them, but they're expensive. They're like $25 a pop on eBay, so... That'll be a while. But yeah. Love this show. Are they, are they still doing it? Because I remember they came back, but are they... Are they still going? I don't know. But that's my horror Blu-rays. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love peace and chicken grease. Oh, that's how